，就是因为妈妈眼中孩子都是永远是长不大的嘛，所以看到他现在能够自己打理一间店，也是蛮欣慰的。嗯。Any words they want to say to your mom? You're gonna make me cry. Uh, hi, my name is Ting Ting. This is Linda. Uh, we run Puffs and Peaks Bakery at Tampany Central Community Complex. I think we are a, a very tiny neighborhood bakery that serves up very rustic and handmade baked goods with no preservatives. Currently, the most popular item on the menu is uh, donuts, but there's also banana cake that is very popular as well. And then uh, followed by the cookies, brownies, and then sourdough bread. And uh, we've been here for about six months. I think I think for me is uh, I'm more uh, concerned with the the menu, whereas my mother runs more of the uh, like back end operations, like you know, accounting, etc. Yeah, mm -hmm. administrative. Uh, I think part of it was because my mom had this passion for baking, and then whereas for me, I've I've always had it since about like mm -hmm. five to eight years back. Yeah, so I think everything just came together at the right time. So she was retrenched and um, I was also uh, just baking from home. So at that point in time, we just thought maybe we should try and do something together. When I was maybe 12 years old, so that's when I, you know, chanced upon like, uh, uh, like online tutorials on YouTube and then the library also. And then uh, from like secondary school onwards, I just like started to bake from home. Uh, various types of things like cookies, macarons, brownies. So I went for like a business diploma first um, because um, I think my parents at that point in time they also think that like you know maybe it's better to just have a business uh, background first, uh, which I absolutely didn't regret. And then but thereafter when I finished polytechnic, I was like okay now I want to do something that is relevant to what I like. So much, so I decided to go to culinary school, and I realized that actually my passion is still with baking. So I think the turning point for me was when I kind of forced myself to uh, go to Australia, backed my way through to a bakery in Melbourne. So from there, I actually started to really like learn the tips and tricks about you know making like sourdough bread, things that I've been interested in, and I only got to see it online. But now I'm in an actual bakery to to learn from the bakers that are professional. 就是有一段时间，我就过去那边找他啦，然后看他吃很多东西啊，吃很多东西啊。I brought her to all the bakeries to try, like, hey, this is how other people do it. And I think also from there, she started to be like, wow, my gosh, like everything tastes so amazing because the farms over there are just you know like farm to table concept, so the produce is very fresh. 起初不放心他去啊，我后来我自己过去的时候，我看他，哎。在那边的生活是蛮 stable， 而且那边的人是蛮好，可以什么都教他的，嗯，所以也蛮放心的，嗯。其实这个兴趣是在三十年前的，所以我就完全忘记了了。就是做那份工作，就是哇，一直投入做那个工作，然后没有去想到这个、这个兴趣。当时他对做面包啊、做蛋糕的那。我热情，哎，忽然间看到好像以前年轻的自己这样，<笑>当时真的没有信心了，就是因为过了这么久，然后现在现在的新朝代跟我们以前的那个年代，我所学的哦是完全不一样嘛。然后我每次这里学那里学，然后就自己在家里做啊。印象最深刻就是我做那个月饼。来买自己来买，然后尝试很久，就是哇，有时一整天没有睡觉哦，就是一直做，跟他现在的情形一样啊。啊、嗯，是很早期的 big s a l e 啦。<笑>对对对对对啊。最拿手的是什么呢？最拿手啊，嗯，那时候最拿手是月饼啊。月饼啊。啊、嗯，那现在呢？我、哦、现在现在是 g u l a b i s 啦，那种比较传统的昂古贵啦。然后那个呃 ，banana cake 啦，中间有很多失败过啦。不过
，其实我们有很好的客户，他们都会反映给我，那我们就是从里面一直把它 improve 啦，然后到现在就是比较适合大众的口味啦。嗯，之前可能是太甜啊、太油啊什么这些，所以客户的呃反应，然后我们就慢慢把它调整过来，所以呃。所以看到哎，蛮多人喜欢的，我们也是蛮高兴的啊。在开始做这生意的时候，因为很多东西就是不了解，所以看法不一样嘛，所以所以就吵啊吵了。不过我们有讲出来，所以大家了解了了，吵了之后就明白哦，大家呃他的用意是什么，我的用意是什么。然后就比较了解彼此。呃、uh, ，I think I definitely got to see more sides of my mother, and then、uh, she also got to see my,、uh, the side of me when I'm working in the kitchen. So it's very different from when we are just at home. In, in that sense, we understand each other better. Yeah, through the course of like working together. Hmm. Mama. Hmm. Yeah, 就是看到他做事情会比较认真啊，跟平常在家里好像做事情好像比较不，可是呃，看赌博他会很认真，很比较呃严肃一点啊。然后他的要求就是呃，就是有一个水准啊，所以我不可以说哇随便啦、啊、随便啦、啊、什么，他会解释给我听哦为什么他要这样做，所以我就会啊。呃就是尽量符合他的要求了，嗯，在过去没有花太多时间，他们小的时候没有花太多时间跟他们在一起的时间，所以现在会比较珍惜啊跟他相处的时间，然后嗯也比较开心啊，因为他也做他自己喜欢做的，我也喜欢做的，所以他有时候觉得，哎，你如果你要想要做什么要新的什么，你就。自己去试吧，然后我们就是用我们的厨房，就是要做什么就做什么嘛，所以会比较开心一点哦，嗯，所以东西都是有两面呐、啊，一面你看是不好的，可是另外一面就是给我更多的时间去想自己，其实还有一个梦想还没有完成，所以就是啊，现在是一个机会让我自己圆了我的梦，也圆了他自己。因为妈妈眼中孩子都是永远是长不大的嘛，所以看到她现在能够自己打理一间店，是蛮欣慰的。Any words they want to say to mama? You're gonna make me cry. The strongest people I've seen, so like she's a big inspiration. Yeah, just uh, I really appreciate everything she's done so far, and for me to get here is definitely not on my own. So yeah, yeah, she means a lot to me. <laughs> Just wanna thank thank all our loyal customers so far, and you know, uh, for anyone new who's here to who's interested, you know, getting like some simple, tasty rustic bakes with uh, no preservatives. Everything is natural here and handmade. Uh, can head down and come and uh, get get them from us. <laughs>